The blockbuster Korean drama giant Seon Creature arrives at the end of 2023. A 70 billion won production adapted from an extremely popular comic of the same name. The story is set in 1945 during the Japanese occupation of the Korean Peninsula. After Japan's defeat, the laboratories in Korea received orders to evacuate. This lab had been conducting inhumane live experiments. Before leaving, the officers ordered a destruction plan to incinerate tens of thousands of experimental corpses, and live captives were ordered to be shot. Finally, they took the secretly researched biochemical virus and detonated bombs to destroy the lab, attempting to erase the crimes committed there. At this time, although the wealthy in Jian Sion, Korea lived luxuriously, the city's rulers were still Japanese. The owner of the largest pawn shop in Jian Sion, Tae Sang, one moment is enjoying life. The next he's taken away by the Japanese military, the Japanese man, Ishikawa. First beats Taesang brutally and then shows him a photo of Myungja. Myungja is Ishikawa's old acquaintance but has been missing for a week. Ishikawa has searched Jian Sion without success. Taesang, a self-made Korean businessman, is well informed about various underground news. Ishikawa targeted him for this reason, using trumped-up charges to abduct Taesang. His real goal is to have Taesang find Myungja. Leaving no room for refusal, Ishikawa orders that Taesang must find Myungja before the cherry blossoms fall. Otherwise, all his assets will be confiscated, and Taesang will be sent to the frontline battlefield. Taesang, injured, returns home and immediately orders Naewaldaik to sell off his assets as quickly as possible. But looking out the window, Taesang sees Ishikawa's men surveilling him. Taesang knows that selling his assets will surely attract Ishikawa's attention, so, he prepares two plans one to investigate Myungja's whereabouts, and the other to secretly sell his assets for cash. Ever since the Japanese occupied Jian Sion, a large number of women have disappeared. Secretly taken by the Japanese for biochemical experiments, the Myungja Ishikawa is searching for is shockingly imprisoned here. A few Japanese soldiers take two women from their cells and place them in two connected cells, each with a plate of dough and a bowl of water. Starving, the women immediately consume the food and drink the water, However, they don't know the water is laced with a biochemical agent by the Japanese military. Soon, the younger woman starts reacting, her severe headache causing her to scream and continuously bang her head against the wall. Officer Gato ignores the woman's agony and turns to cell number two. The woman inside shows no severe reaction, curled up in a corner, silent. Gato is pleased with the woman's reaction, he orders the soldiers to inject her with serum. At this point the woman still couldn't help but slump to the ground and vomit and something horrible was also writhing on the back of her body. Meanwhile, Naewaldake secretly sells off assets while seeking a spy to help Taesang. At the same time, Chaioke, a spy, is secretly following Taesang. Taesang senses he's being followed and intentionally leads the pursuer to a crossroads. Taesang is about to disarm Chaioke when she suddenly turns, and they start fighting. During the fight, Chaioke's hat falls off. <laughs> revealing her to be a beautiful woman with flowing hair. They, each armed with a gun and a knife, stand off against each other. The standoff allows them to communicate. Chaioke, hearing of Taesang's well-connected reputation, came to seek information. She wants Taesang's help to find two people, a Japanese painter named Sachimoto and her mother. Missing for 10 years, Taesang immediately refuses, overwhelmed with his own troubles, and even mocks Chaioke's quest. Angered by Taesang's taunts, they part on bad terms. Unexpectedly, when Taesang returns home, Naewaldaik has hired two spies to assist him, one of whom is Chaioke. Surprised by their quick reunion, Taesang learns from Naewaldaik that the two are professional in finding people, capable of retrieving even the dead. As Taesang is looking for Myungja and Chaioke for Sachimoto and her mother, they decide to share information and cooperate, increasing their chances of success. Meanwhile, in Giant Sion's Japanese military lab, Gato brings the painter Sachimoto, whom Chaioke is looking for, to a cell. Sachimoto has been imprisoned by Gato to record experimental data. Gato orders Sachimoto to draw the portrait of subject now. 2. Sachimoto, looking into the cell with a flashlight, sees blood and a corpse. As he looks up following the trail of blood, 
He's startled by what he sees. The Japanese military's cruelty during the invasion of Korea was extreme. They conducted live human experiments to study biochemical viruses, hoping to reverse the tide of war by deploying these viruses on the battlefield. A regular hospital in Jiangseon, Korea, turned into a live experiment lab for the Japanese. A year ago, the painter Sachimoto was commissioned to come to Ansian Hospital, only to witness the Japanese's brutality firsthand. They used captured Koreans for experiments, a bloody scene that made Sachimoto vomit. However, his Japanese compatriots didn't care and forcibly brought him to the scene to record everything. Sachimoto was filled with regret. He had only come to Korea to earn more money, unaware that the soldiers and the propaganda back home were entirely different. The only kindness he experienced was from a cleaning lady at the hospital. But who would have thought that the next time they met, Sonsim had become a monstrous experiment of the Japanese army. Her elongated arms terrified Sachimoto, who was paralyzed with fear. When he recovered, Sachimoto approached and noticed Sonsim seemed to regain her sanity. She held a six-leaf clover necklace in her hand. Shockingly, this monstrous woman was Chaioke's mother, who had been missing for 10 years. Chaioke didn't want to cooperate with Taesang, but her father had already accepted Taesang's commission to help find Myeongja. Under the cover of night, Chaioke sneaked into the home of Ishikawa's wife, Yukiko, believing her to be involved in Myeongja's disappearance. Through binoculars, she saw Yukiko hand a letter to a man. After the man left, Chaioke followed him across the roofs and finally saw him enter a luxuriously decorated club. She noted the location. The next day, Chaioke shared her findings with Taesang. They found the rickshaw driver who had taken Myeongja. And under pressure, he revealed that her last destination was Ansian Hospital. However, the hospital was run by the Japanese and heavily guarded, making it inaccessible to ordinary people. Various clues suggested Myeongja might be inside. Taesang then approached his friend Juntake. Juntake was from one of the most prominent families in Jian Xiong and one of the few who could freely enter Ansian Hospital, so Taesang wanted to borrow his identity card. Juntake, aware of Ishikawa's threats to Taesang, handed over his identity card without much fuss. After disguising themselves, they smoothly entered Ansian Hospital. Once inside, Taesang had Gap Pion pretend to have stomach pain, drawing the attention of doctors and nurses. Meanwhile, Chaioke sneaked into the records room to look for Myeonjo's file but found nothing useful, just as they were about to leave. Gunshots suddenly rang out, causing panic among everyone. The nurses hurriedly assured that it was just nearby troops practicing. However, Chaioke keenly sensed the gunshots were coming from underground. At the same time, in the hospital's basement, the monstrous Songsen began to rampage again, killing all nearby Japanese soldiers. The monster, feeding on blood, sucked the brains out of the soldiers with its tentacles. Surprisingly, Gato ordered his soldiers not to move rashly or shoot, calling the horrifying creature a goddess. To avoid harming the monster, Gato had his soldiers fire liquid bullets to freeze it, then put it in an iron cage to be transferred elsewhere. However, during the transfer, the monster continued to emit virus spores. These spores quickly filled the entire cell, infecting all the prisoners, turning the place into a living hell with continuous screams. Chaioke and the others, who were lurking on the upper floor of the hospital, saw the soldiers carrying out a large number of corpses and were sure that there was a secret in the basement. The next day, news spread of an infectious disease outbreak inside Ansian Hospital, leading to a complete lockdown. The Japanese military even set up heavy guards at the entrances. While Taesang was concerned about Chaioke and the others' safety, a nurse who escaped from the hospital found him and handed him a note saying Myeongja had been found. This note was from Chaioke, sent through the nurse, learning that Chaioke and the others hadn't escaped. Taesang immediately decided to go rescue them. Meanwhile, Chaioke had already infiltrated the hospital's basement and heard the monster's roar. At this moment, several Japanese soldiers are transferring a monster in an iron cage, but one of them accidentally turns off the liquid nitrogen switch used to freeze the monster. As the cage enters the elevator, a soldier suddenly realizes that the spores floating around are gone. The next second, the leading man also realizes the crisis, but it's too late. A tentacle suddenly stretches out and kills a soldier, then, more tentacles extend from the iron cage. In the confined space of the elevator, the awakened monster begins a rampage. The monster breaks out of the cage. Soma and another soldier are lucky to survive. To save his own life, Soma orders the soldier to close the elevator door. Under the threat of a gun, the soldier reluctantly does so. But the next second, the noise made by the soldier is detected by the monster, and he is swiftly dragged away by a tentacle. Soma keeps pounding on the soldier's hand gripping the doorframe. 
Taking advantage of the monster dragging the soldier away, Soma quickly closes the elevator door. Soma thought he was safe, but more tentacles reach out and pierce his body. A strong will to survive makes Soma fire at the monster. Then he manages to pull down the elevator switch, barely surviving. The surviving Soma warns Gato to kill the monster, or a more terrible disaster will occur. However, Gato doesn't listen at all. He's very fond of his creation. As the monster consumes more flesh and blood, the wounds inflicted by bullets heal instantly. On the other hand, Taesang accidentally saw a portrait of Chaioke's mother in a suit shop. After talking with the shop owner, he learns that the painting is from a bar. So Taesang finds the bar's owner, Young Chun. Young Chun doesn't know the person in the painting, but she knows who painted it. She tells Taesang that the painter, named Sachimoto, has arranged to meet her tonight at the Sihai Tower. Hearing this, Taesang plans to go there in the evening, as this person is precisely who Chaioke is looking for. Meanwhile, Chaioke, hiding in a hospital, accidentally saves a Japanese soldier attempting suicide. Through conversation, she learns he's a Korean who was captured by the Japanese army on the battlefield and later forced to work in the hospital. He had seen Myeongjo the night before and knew her exact location. The soldier also draws a map of the basement, so the group plans to act that night. In the evening, as Taesang prepares to go to see High Tower, he's ambushed by a group of Japanese thugs. These thugs liked to cause trouble in Taesang's shop before, and this time, taking advantage of their numbers, they drag Taesang into a corner and beat him. When Taesang finally arrives at the tower, Young Chun and Sachimoto have already left. After returning home, Taesang asks Gap Pion for the hospital's floor plan, intending to rescue Chai Ok and others. Naewoldake sees Taesang's wounds and tries to stop him. During the argument, Taesang reveals his true feelings. He doesn't want to be a coward anymore. He wants to fight these invaders to the end. At that moment, Young Chun brings Sachimoto to Taesang's house. After learning about Taesang's plan, Sachimoto hides Taesang in his car and sneaks him into the hospital. Taesang goes to the storeroom as agreed but doesn't find anyone there. Actually, Chai Ok and the others have already started their mission. Yongwon is on the rooftop keeping watch, while Chai Ok goes through the ventilation duct to find Myeonja. Following the duct, Chai Ok arrives at a laboratory. The surrounding darkness forces her to light a match. But when Chai Ok sees her surroundings clearly, she's shocked. Various jars contain human tissues, even embryos revealing the inhumanity of these people. Chaioke also finds several imprisoned children in a corner, facing the children's pleading eyes. How could Chaioke refuse to help? So, she sends them up the ventilation duct one by one. However, just then, a Japanese soldier walks in. Chaioke can't retreat in time and hides behind a pillar. The man notices the missing children and is about to call for others. Chai Ok and the children go through the ventilation duct to the rooftop, but then an accident happens. Young one, keeping watch above, sees several Japanese soldiers come to the rooftop to drink. They also hear the noise from Chai Ok knocking on the vent. To protect Chai Ok, Young one has to stand up. The soldiers aim their rifles, ready to shoot, but suddenly a firework explodes in the sky. Attracting their attention, Chai Ok takes the opportunity to climb out of the vent and, with her father, kills the Japanese soldiers, but a deceitful Japanese soldier tries to shoot Chai Ok secretly. Just as a tragedy is about to occur, a gunshot sounds, and the soldier falls. It turns out Taesang has followed the clues left by Chai Ok and arrives in time to save her. Taesang thought Chai Ok had found Myungja, but there were only a few children in the duct. Seeing Taesang's puzzled expression, Chai Ok asks him to take the children out first, and she will continue to look for Myungja. Meanwhile, Ichiro calls Gato over to show his research achievements. Ichiro brings three ordinary people in front of the monster. As he rings a bell, the monster violently kills all three. 